Just a few months ago, I was sitting in a church service where the pastor had us participate in an anonymous survey using our phones. The question was this. Have you ever had previous thoughts of leaving church, God, and your faith? As everyone finished up texting their answers, the results popped up on the screens. And it showed that 82% of this church congregation had stated they had previous thoughts of leaving their faith. Something many of us, including me, have thought. But why? Through conversations, we realized it was guilt from our past that would drove us to this decision. We are dealing with an epidemic where people think that their past is what defines who they are today. God says in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. If you are in Christ, your old is gone. Your past is gone. God doesn't confront you about your past. He only cares about who you are today and where you're going in your future. I have two points for you today. The first is this. God is not finished with you yet. It doesn't matter what you've done in your past. If you were addicted to drugs, alcohol, pornography, lying, cheating, sex, whatever you may have done through Jesus, you can be forgiven. You see, if God were done with you, he would not have gone through such great lengths to make forgiveness a permanent thing. So don't give up on a God who has never given up on you. My second point today is the exact same as the first. God is not finished with you yet. He has forgiven the sins of your past. And as you move into your future, believe that he has a higher calling for your life. It says in Ephesians 2.10, For we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good work, which God prepared in advance for us to do. You are here for a reason, and the purpose for your life was established before you were even born. Your walk with God was made to be a process. And you need to stay in that process. The Bible tells us a story in Mark chapter 9, starting in verse 20, about a father who was bringing his demon-possessed son to Jesus. When the Spirit saw Jesus, it threw this boy down to the ground in a convulsion, foaming at the mouth. Jesus saw this boy and asked the father how long he had been like this. And the father replied, since he was very small, have mercy on us and help us do something if you can. And then Jesus replied, what do you mean if I can? Anything is possible if a person believes. Jesus is telling us that it's not a matter of if he can. It is a matter of if we believe that he will. God wants you to know that no matter how unimportant, insignificant, or unworthy you may feel, you can. You can fulfill what you were originally designed to do. I can promise you this. Fulfilling the plan that God has in your life isn't going to be easy. However, Jesus gives us hope by saying in John 16, 33, in this world, you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Take heart. God is not done with you regardless of how you feel or what you may have been told. Because you may be here thinking, I was a part of that 82%. I've had past thoughts of leaving my faith. Are you willing to leave that past behind you? Do you believe the promises that God has for you and that you are here for a purpose? Because you still have value. And you still have work to do. 
God is not finished with you yet. Thank you.